A group on San Antonio's east side says the local government is violating its civil rights. It has to do with the gang injunction in the Wheatley Heights area, and now these people say they're considering a class action lawsuit. Aaron Nichols joins us live in the newsroom to explain how this injunction works and why the group believes it's more about racial profiling than protecting the community. Aaron? Robert, although the group hasn't filed the lawsuit yet, they say they're serious about fighting the gang injunction. But the district attorney's office says they have the information to prove these individuals belong on that list. You cannot break the law to enforce the law. Former civil rights attorney James Meyer and his group are ready to challenge legal authority. We are contemplating filing a class action lawsuit on behalf of every gang member in the city of San Antonio against Susan Reed, Bear County and the city of San Antonio for violating their rights. Meyer says those rights are being violated based on a 2012 gang injunction filed by Bear County District Attorney Susan Reed, targeting several members or associates of the Bloods. The injunction prohibits those on the list from meeting with one another in a specific area. Meyer claims it allows police to racially profile those who aren't even on the list. It is wrong to arbitrarily stop people because they're young and because they're black or because they're young and because they're Hispanic and accuse them of being gang members. But the district attorney's office says they've done their homework. We have to do a lot of background research before we can go into court and show the court and prove to the court that when these individuals are together, they're doing it for the purpose of committing crime. 21 year old John McCullough is on the list. He's been arrested before on drug offenses, but claims he's not in a gang. Depending on the areas that a person goes in, uh, I get harassed. If I stand somewhere, you know, if I be somewhere talking to too many people, I have been harassed and I have been taken to jail behind that. Myard says the group is opposed to gang violence, but wants the DA's office to come up with better solutions to fight crime. That is a violation of law. We have a right to assemble. Now we reached out to the DA's office about the story but haven't got a call back. Our Yami Virgin has been investigating the gang injunction and in a few minutes she'll explain the results she's uncovered. She'll also tell us what one state representative wants to do to give the law some teeth. Aaron Nichols, Fox News at 9.